Hello students, welcome to my guest classes. In this video, we are going to discuss about 12th Electrochemistry, short answer questions, book back problems. Let us move on to the question part. Question number 8. The conductivity of a 0.01 M solution of a 1 is to 1 weak electrolyte at 298 Kelvin is 1.5 into 10 power minus 4 Siemens centimeter inverse. Find out the molar conductivity of the solution and the degree of the solution and the degree of dissociation and the dissociation constant of the weak electrolyte. Given that the lambda of the cation and the lambda of the anion at the infinite dilution. What is the given quantity? The electrolyte is a type of 1 is to 1. And the concentration C is in molar. This is equal to 0. 0, 1 m and the conductivity kappa is equal to 1.5 into 10 power minus 4 semen in centimeter inverse and the first one is uh, you are going to calculate the molar conductivity the molar conductivity and the specific conductivity is related as the molar conductivity m that is lambda m is equal to kappa into 10 power 3 divided by molar concentration in case the kappa is given in the unit semen centimeter inverse 1 here the kappa is in given the quantity semen centimeter inverse 1 suppose it is given in the semen meter inverse 1 you have to use the formula molar conductivity is equal to kappa into 10 power minus 3 divided by m so this is based on the the unit conversion here it is used so the molar conductivity is equal to kappa is given it is 1.5 into 10 power minus 4 into 10 power 3 divided by the concentration is 0 0.01 you can write 10 power minus 2 by solving you get 1.5 into 10 power minus 4 into 10 power 3 into 10 power 2 this is equal to 1.5 into 10 power 1 same one centimeter square mole inverse 1 the same second one to find out the degree of dissociation the alpha is equal to alpha is equal to lambda m divided by lambda m at infinite dilution for 1 is to 1 electrolyte at infinite dilution the molar conductivity of the solution is equal to sum of the lambda infinity of the cation plus lambda infinity of the anion by calculating lambda infinity it is given in the 248.2 plus 51.2 so total it is 300 semen centimeter square mole inverse by substituting the lambda m value the lambda 1.5 into 10 power 1 semen centimeter square mole inverse divided by 300 semen centimeter square mole inverse 1 this is equal to 15 divided by 300 is equal to 1 by 20 is equal to 0 0.05 as to your dissociation constant to find out the dissociation constant ka is equal to alpha squared c divided by 1 minus alpha alpha it is 0 0.05 0 0.05 whole square into c c is concentration it is 1 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 1 minus 0 0.05 this is equal to 25 into 10 power minus 4 into 1 into 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by 0 0.95 this is equal to 
25 into 10 power minus 6 divided by 0 point or this 95 into 10 power minus 2 this is equal to 25 into 10 to the power of minus 4 divided by 95 by solving you get ka is equal to 2.6 into 10 to the power of minus 5 so dissociation constant ka and the degree of this is alpha and this molar conductivity have been calculated question number 9 which of 0 0.1 m hcl and 0 0.1 m kcl do you expect to have greater molar conductivity at infinite dilution and why here the molar conductivity is inversely proportional to the concentration but in question the given two species are having same concentration one is 0 0.1 m hcl and another one is 0 0.1 m kcl here the HCL dissociate to give H plus ion and Cl minus ion. Here the KCL dissociate to give K plus and Cl minus ion. The only difference is H plus and here the K plus. Even though they are having the same concentration at infinite dilution, being H plus ion is very small in size than compared to the K plus, the mobility of H plus is higher than K plus. Okay, and so the molar conductivity at infinite dilution of HCl is greater than molar conductivity at infinite dilution of KCl. So, in the point of view, there are two points very important. The H plus ion is smaller in size than K plus ion and the second one being smaller in size the mobility of H plus is greater than K plus. So this is your answer. The H plus is greater. Then arrange the following solutions in the decreasing order of specific conductance. The specific conductance kappa and uh, the equal conductance lambda and molar conductance. By means of dilution, what happens? Here the lambda con lambda the alpha increases and so the conductivity increases. Here also alpha increases and so the conductivity increases. In case of specific conductance, it is a conductance of ions in one cubic volume of the electrolytic solution. What happens as dilution increases, the number of ions in the cubic volume will be decreases. So the conductivity decreases. So concentration and conductivity is directly proportional. Here the concentration and the conductivity is inversely proportional. So by simply saying, in case of specific conductance, concentration increases, specific conductance kappa increases, lambda and molar conductivity decreases. So this is a basic. Here the four solutions having higher concentration is 0 0.5 m kcl is having more specific conductivity it is followed by 0 0.25 m kcl and then 0 0.1 m hcl kcl and then 0 0.01 m kcl the finally 0 0.05 m kcl Why is alternative current AC current is used instead of DC in the measuring of the electrolytic conductance? While measuring electrolytic conductance, we have applied the current to the electrolytic solution. 
when dc current is applied it leads to electrolysis of solutions taken in the cell so when i'm measuring electrolytic conductance the electrolytes are taken so electrolytes are dissociated by the dc current so we cannot use the dc so yes is used question number 12 0.1 m na cell solution is placed in two different cells having cell constants 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 centimeter inverse respectively which of the two will have greater value of specific conductance now the specific conductance is related to the cells of uh, cell constant values the basic formula is the specific conductance kappa is equal to cell constant by resistance here the kappa is directly proportional to cell constant so obviously the solutions of 0.1 m NaCl solution having the cell constant 0 0.5 and 0 0.25 the different two cells which will have greater value of specific conductance so the cells having 0 0.5 cell constant is having more conductivity than that of the cell constant 0 0.25 centimeter inverse